Guys, this is not a drill, but you can no longer mine Ethereum. That means that all those mining GPUs, or rather what's left of them, are now going to make their way to the second hand market, which just means more cheaper graphics cards for you, the gamers out there who've been longing for one for so long. The catch? Well, there really isn't one. This is just free GPUs for everyone. Oh, sadly, that really isn't the case, but still, this big demerge that just happened in the Ethereum world is still pretty big news. But how exactly can a cryptocurrency work without mining? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Now, instead of a proof of work system where miners use the powerful GPUs to try and get jobs writing stuff to the ledger, now we have validators or people who stake Ethereum on the network. And when a job needs doing, someone has simply chosen to do it. And the more Ethereum you stake, the higher the chances that you will be chosen to carry out that transaction on the blockchain. So it's a pretty simple yet genius system, and it solves one of the biggest problems that Ethereum had. The energy usage. In fact, this lowers the Ethereum's network energy usage by over 99.9%, with some estimates saying it will save up to a Finland's worth of power. And seeing how Ethereum developed the reputation of being rather harmful to the environment, this is obviously a big deal. But let's be honest, you don't care about the environment, you're just here to find out what's going to happen to GPU prices. And yes, we can expect them to keep on dropping, see how even more used mining graphics cards are now going to make their way onto sites like eBay. But it's not really that simple, and that's for two main reasons. Number one is that, well, GPUs can only get so cheap. Yes, the supply is going through the roof and the demand keeps on falling, especially now, seeing how the next generation is starting very soon, but there's still pretty complicated devices to build, so the prices can only fall so much, especially seeing how mining GPUs are also priced kind of differently, seeing how people are usually a bit more sus of them. And then there's a second, probably even bigger reason why it might not affect graphics card pricing as much as you might think, and that's because, well, Ethereum is just one single cryptocurrency. A lot of other ones, including the biggest one, Bitcoin, are still on proof of work. And it won't take long for miners to find a new favorite cryptocurrency to mine instead. So many people may just simply keep onto the mining rigs and simply continue mining, but with a different cryptocurrency. So yes, while some cards will be making their way to the second-hand market because of this, don't expect it to be this huge deal as everyone thought at first. Despite all of that, just rejoice gamers, because we're just getting more GPUs at our disposal. So if you've been waiting to buy one, get one now, enjoy it, and don't think about the fact that a brand new generation is coming in literally a few weeks time, making a card obsolete. But anyway, let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments below. And if you want to help me make more awesome videos like this one in the future, at least I hope you thought this was awesome, then definitely check out our Patreon down in the video description below. I'd also like to thank our existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Justin Rage, I love Ronyak, LKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much. Down there, you're also going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.